What have they done to my bedroom? That is not even my quilt. Your method acting goes deep. Did you train with Strasburg in New York? I hear he hates women. Wallpaper is faded. And that painting doesn't go in here. And put the desk is in the right place. Yes. Right by the southwest facing window. Wow. <laughs> OK. Just, just sitting down like you own the place. This is how I commune with Emily's spirit. Oh. Funny, I'm having a hard time contacting her today. Hmm. Well, I'm right here, so. This should help. What's that? Poems of Emily Dickinson. The complete collection was published just this year. <gasps> I thought I told you to burn all my poems when I died. I know you didn't mean it. I wasn't going to let everyone forget my sister. And now, look, in the future, you're actually famous. Well, not that famous. Oh. Huh? More of a local legend, an obscure, strange female poet who lived a sad, miserable life. That's not true. Most people in the 20th century don't really care about Emily Dickinson. <laughs> They'd happily leave her poem sitting in an attic somewhere collecting dust. But I care. I feel a kinship with her. She was morbidly depressed. I'm morbidly depressed. She was. She wasn't. She was not. I'm not. Did you know she spent her entire life alone. What do you mean alone? She was a virgin, a miserable, dried-up spinster. Never got married. Never found love. Hardly even left her room. The only thing Emily Dickinson did was wear white, and cry. Um, that's not accurate. She almost never wears white. Emily Dickinson is not depressed. She does not want to die. She wants to live and connect with the world through her words. I would argue she died alone in her bedroom. OK. I am Emily Dickinson, so I think I know how Emily Dickinson feels. Your commitment to this mountain day bit is alarming. <laughs> Where do you get your information? It's common knowledge. Emily Dickinson was the original sad girl. I mean, her life was so awful. They say she had a love affair with a man, someone she was crazy about who didn't love her back. Oh, my god. A man? Is that true? No. Yes, it's... there was a man. But no one knows who, and it was totally unrequited. So, I can only assume she wanted to kill herself. Undoubtedly, she tried. Just like me when I slashed my legs up and took my mother's sleeping pills. Yikes. Okay, I never tried to kill myself. I would never try to kill myself, and I was not in love with a man. Emily. Was it George? No. Fraser? No. It couldn't have been. Toshiaki? Lavinia, I have never in my life been in love with a man. 